Hello Internet, I am John, welcome back for uh, to Let's Play Stellaris 3.11 Determined Exterminator. Um, previously, we kind of consolidated our gains over here and pulled our fleets back uh, to here for refitting in preparation for war on this federation here. And we set up to gather some intel from them as well. Um, I this, this tech choice as well I'm, I'm questioning. Um, because we have a lot of gas extraction wells, and we still have plenty of space to build industrial districts. This one is good for, like, pop efficiency, right? You get more alloy per foundry pop, but this one just opens up new capabilities for us. Um, for example, uh, upgraded energy grids, upgraded labs. We need a tech that gives us gas to be able to research those techs. And being able to fit more science dudes in our science worlds with the good bonuses um, might, might be worth it here. So I, I think I'm going to switch that one over. Um, I was also thinking about, or we're kind of running, uh, you know, we're, we're a little low on energy and a little high on minerals. Uh, I think this, these would be good districts to swap over, um, because we already have the energy grid here, and, uh, the capital sector, capital's just, uh, productive. Versus, like, miners here produce more, because we have the purification plant, so I'm gonna do that. Um, what else? I did notice an interesting glitch, where we're no longer doing active reconnaissance on the Yalon, but our intel um, floor, like uh, like our, our, we're still getting the 40 intel as if we were. So I'm really curious if that's like how active recon is supposed to work, or if the if it's like if you bombard a world that you're doing active reconnaissance on into a tomb world, it gets stuck and they didn't, didn't like figure out how to kind of like deallocate it properly. Um, so I do want to fiddle with that a little bit. Uh, what else? You're building, you're building, you're building. Yeah, so like we're, we have stuff in progress on most of the worlds that I care about. Um, that stability is a little low. I wonder where that is. They have amenities, they have housing. I don't know. I was also thinking, so I noticed that uh, our our fleet command limit has increased to 70, and I think this happened from destroyers. So I, I'm contemplating throwing another like 30 corvettes in, um, especially because we just delayed cruisers again to get uh, synthetic. Um, but I'm optimistic here that we, we have all the synthetic pop assembly stuff coming online. Um, we got the empire size penalty reduction from the third civic. Uh, you know, we were getting where we get the amenities and output and then even more pop assembly when we finish this So like I think our efficiency should improve a little bit because we've been we've been stalled tech wise or you know in this like 650 to 750 range for a good long while while our price has risen um, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can kind of break out of that rut and uh, Actually power through two three techs rather than having it take like forever because these are all tier two I think um, and even these are taking like a while, so. Yeah, that's kind of where we are. Uh, I did want more battle frames. I think, how many armies do they have on their capital? Yeah, they have like 530. So I'm gonna want around 1500 to make that a clean fight. I like three to one as a general rule. I also noticed we have enough intel here that we can see ship details. And th this actually works if we have like vision on their fleet. We don't get to see the location of their fleet, but we can look at the details of their ships. So we see they have ion thrusters, they have, you know, tier three, uh, or this, these, I guess these are tier two, but level three lasers, uh, and then kind of a mix of, you know, onesie, twosie components, afterburners. We probably will be able to finish afterburners just on salvage from this war, so that'll be nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, very normal looking AI ships, nothing super exciting here. Just a you know, mix of weapons. Uh, there, there were some, you know, missiles in here. It's uh, yeah, it's torpedoes. We may be able to finish as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. it was just interesting to like, to to actually. I, I guess I didn't realize that the level of intel required to see ship designs was less than the level of intel required to see fleet locations. Um, so that's that's an interesting discovery, I suppose. 
But yeah, I'm curious to see if we move... So currently we have 60 intel from active reconnaissance here. And I'm curious if we move him off, um, what happens to that? If it actually stops as expected? Uh, you know, I would love to get up in here and um, do active reconnaissance there as well. I'm wondering if maybe we do do steel tech here. We have the energy bank, we have we certainly have the influence. And we have a decent asset. You know, that that's those are these are decent numbers where it should progress at a reasonable rate. So yeah, I think we will do it. Um, as far as the Yalon, I'm questioning my decision last time to not just power through and wipe them out. Uh, and so if we if we destroyed all their planets, then whatever space they have down this way would just lose all the outposts. And then whoever's down here would have to like spend the influence and alloys coming back up and colonizing it. And that might be a reasonable spot to have like a dead zone of two worlds. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe um, depending on how like fleet cap develops, maybe we build yet another fleet of corvettes and uh, send them that way to finish the job before we run into war, Gilleston. We'll see. Two years to upgrade there. As far as war goals here, um, obviously I want to get in. This is kind of the critical point where if we're here, we could get pinchered. On the other hand, if we're here and we have enough strength, we could prevent them from linking up. Um, also, as far as economic damage, right? It's uh, I. It's interesting, the two um, star holds. Oh, okay, that's also a star hold. But yeah, somewhere in here, they have their guaranteed habitables. Um, and this one was 63 pops. They are building robots. They don't have that many robots, though. You know, robots plus, plus lithoids is an interesting combination that I hadn't thought about. You can kind of, like, work around your um, pop growth penalties from lithoids with robot assembly. <laughs> but yeah, with, with my thought with the Yalon was, like, they do... They do... They have... The, the thought train that got us here with steel technology, Yalan have good technology. Yalan also have research agreements with the Federation, and that was part of what made me think, oh, I should knock them out, is that they're speeding up these guys' tech progress. But I don't really want to divert fleets over that way just yet. We'll, we'll get in here and see what we, what we get. Um, and then if we have some left over and some time left, then we'll go do that. We could also start developing this into a forge world that has the size. Um, but we're not maxed out here yet either, so... Probably unnecessary. Um, okay, I think that was... I, I'm, I don't know how much micro I want to do with building these up to 70. If I want to, like, because this has all the upgrade orders queued. How long are, do these upgrades take? Um, six days is like a third, so probably like 20 days, which is half a Corvette. If we build them back here, it's going to take a really long time for them to get there. How long of a time, you might ask? Yeah, you know, like two years. Um, it would be faster to just wait for the upgrades to finish, and then build them all here, probably. Although, we have 30 corvettes, 4 shipyards, 40 days per corvette, 1200 days serially, um, over 4 is 300 days. Yeah, so probably. Probably faster to just do it here, but if we do it through the fleet manager, it'll, it will spread the load out to the other shipyards as well. And then we'll get those, uh, those long transit times regardless. For a smaller fraction of the fleet, though, so. Construction complete. Okay, solar panels. Yeah, I need some solar panels. You don't need a naval logistics office. That doesn't do anyone any good. Construction complete. We could survey these two after he's done with those. Ship augmentations completed. Okay, and then our third fleet that is yet unupgraded. 
This is getting more expensive because I think we finished the tier or the, the next level of reactor, but we don't really get a whole lot of benefit out of it. But oh well. Interesting. I wonder why is he that much better of an admiral with the fire rate bonus? That he gets an extra like thousand points of fleet power. Oh, governors. Um I, I looked, the leader pool refreshed. We could get like a decent uh, official now. Um, so we have two crime reduction guys. We don't need that much crime reduction. Um, versus like build speed, build upkeep. I, I prefer that one, I think. Archaeology. Ankrel 4.name. Very good. Very appropriate for machines. Where's the new one? Oh, that's just nearby. You don't need to be cloaked, because we took care of the asteroid. Initially, I was kind of down on the Zeroni, but looking at what the uh, the relic does, um, it uh, it lets us, like... We probably don't need those either. Um, we're just paying upkeep. Yeah, on... We probably have a lot of umbilicals that we don't really need. Um, I did want more armies. Uh, right, the relic from the Zarni has a, a neat function that levels up your ruler. And with a machine intelligence ruler who gives a who one is immortal, and two gives us empire size from pops reduction, that could be pretty cool. There's like a fire rate thing it can do too, but which, you know, obviously could be handy for us because we're probably gonna do a lot of warfare. But um being able to level up to get like permanent empire size from pops reduction. Okay, so we were up on energy. You're still building stuff. Um, maybe we do like enable some more labs or something if we have them around. Yeah, we can do a little bit of distributed science. That's fine. Technological acquisition successful. Fortresses. Refit standards is an interesting thought. Um, probably more important than cloaking speed. As much as I love cloaking speed. I wonder if these are a prereq for any of the, like, uh... Orbital ring stuff? I don't remember. Okay, yeah, so let's see if is our um our intel is falling now. Yeah, we lost the active reconnaissance too, so it's it's just a glitch with like destroying worlds, maybe. Although let's let's see what's I mean, while we're over here, we may as well take a look. Um so yeah, this is twenty-four pops. Mega forges. Oh no. 26 alloy outputs, not that much though. And gas wells and oh, they're um environmentalists, I guess. Yeah, Ranger Lodge. Huh. I don't know if this good. They produce moats. Oh, maybe it's from their species though. They could have the lithoid thing that makes them produce moats. Yeah, volatile excretions. Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's get back over here. Interesting. So um so that's a, an interesting argument in favor of bombarding capitals into two worlds is that then you get to keep your active reconnaissance bonus on capital tier forever. Huh. Okay, yeah, so the um exterminators have been conquered by the directorate. So yeah, that's a situation we're going to have to think about a little harder in the future. We could upgrade one of these. We certainly have the moats. And that'll give us a planetary FTL inhibitor. Oh, interesting. Construction complete. I hadn't looked at the army builder at different star bases within the uh, 
the same sector. That's weird. Okay, that one's done. You know, did we like not upgrade our anchorages? We should do that. I thought I had another anchorage starbase. Yeah, here we go. Full on influence again, which is fine. I think, yeah. Ship augmentations completed. Oh, I bet that extra 100 energy was from, we, we got all of our Corvettes like in the same spot. You know, why are you stronger? Is, does it really think the extra, I mean, what? Okay. That's kind of what I expected. Yeah, it's just the extra reactor, which doesn't help that much. So that's kind of an overestimate, perhaps, of actual strength. Hmm. Okay, yeah, and those are mostly coming out of Pearl Zone, only a few out of the, the back backcountry shipyard. How long? Right, we, we did the math. It would take like uh, a year. I don't know that I want to wait, that I want to wait a year. Um, yeah, I, I think we, uh, I think we go. They're up to 9k, yeah, so they're they're getting stronger as as we are. Construction complete. And that's to say nothing of the um the other guy. The uh the Miravandians. Construction complete. Diplomatic alert. War protocols initiated. See what they do. Okay, they're heading forward. System survey complete. Or like this this way. They're headed at, in our direction, which is good. Um, if they were headed back to, to link up, I'd be much more worried. But if we can fight them alone or on top of, you know, even on top of a starbase, I'll take that. The little, the little blocker square is ignoring me. It is annoying me. Not actually important, but... Is there anywhere else we need to do Master of Nature that I have that yet? In this kind of core sector? You have... You, you have better things to build. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Technological acquisition successful. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Ocean Ecology Management. Typical. Um, yeah. Pop Menes usage. Great. Gravitic Sensors. Also great. Hyperdrive 2. Now we're talking. But yeah, now our, our, our science ship's got the automatic sensor upgrade. I wonder if our transport's did too. That's complete. a funny thought. Construction complete. How strong are they? Mm. Yeah, not very. 
Hostile stationary asset engaged. Okay, so their fleet is here. Um, interesting choice. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Yeah, we're not going to kill much in this initial engagement. Oh, there were some, though. It's much more than I expected. Not going to complain about that. Um... DLC check commander. What? What? Yeah, I mean, it's, um... Kind of kind of what we expected to see. That, that's, yeah, besides the high casualty numbers. Um... No salvage for us? Sets. Hostile stationary asset engaged. There's some salvage. No, not not so much in the way of casualties there. I wonder if they're they're well, twenty ships lost, twenty one ships lost, twenty ships lost. That's um, hmm. looks a little glitchy, but and now okay, so now we kind of have the critical question where we're we're at a juncture. We could split the fleet. I would prefer to keep the fleet together. We know that they still have some stuff that got out. Um, that, that FTL'd. And then we, we know that this guy is going to come in with whatever he has. Um, maybe we split off just one and we keep the, the other two together. That's kind of the big one. But it's not like that much bigger. Let's go this way with him. At least get on top of this starbase so that they can't don't use it as like an emergency hotel destination. Um, and then the other two we will send this way. System survey complete. Our mining is still okay. We um, we could we could enable like one more job here, I guess. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. standard space entity encountered. They have a planet here. I don't know that I checked this one. 56 pops. That's a lot. And one army strength. 780. Wow. Um, hmm.
Yeah, I think we get this combined fleet up in here somewhere, and then we use the second one to kind of run around the back. Um, they will try to sneak back through here, probably, but it's 20k now. Um, I, I don't think they'll get enough together to, to crack that one open. Technological acquisition successful. Gas extraction wells. Um, these are kind of not the best. Maybe this is when we finish uh, one of these. Um, I think they're mostly on just afterburners and tier one engines. What's uh, what's the salvage? This one does have ion thrusters and afterburners. Um, I think we'll do ion thrusters and then. Yeah, I need to go build gas extraction wells everywhere. Okay, so we could we could put one here. Maybe we replace our chemical plant with that, because we have like plenty of moats. Do I not actually have it yet? Oh, it's behind a blocker, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Here we can put several gas extraction mills, but it's our science world. Hmm. Crystal mines? I guess I don't have crystal mines tech yet. We already have one here that we captured. Okay, so that's it, and then the construction ship will deal with the rest of them uh, in space. Right, so uh, then was the, the question of, like, do I want to go do these salvages yet? That one should just be amoebas, yeah, less important. Hostile fleet assets engage. Hostile stationary asset engage. Several more casualties. Oh, this exits out. There's probably like a... Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. That probably comes just comes out here. I wonder if there's somebody else's border there or what the deal is. Stationary asset engaged. Hostile stationary asset engaged. If we get some corvettes with uh, the gravetic sensors out, that will be very convenient. Because you, you don't need that many sensors in a fleet to get the... I mean, you just need one, really. But some redundancy is nice, of course, but for, for durability. Um, at this point, maybe we do send uh, one and post the other one up there. Is that... Uh, no, yeah, okay, here we go. Construction complete. Construction complete. System survey complete. So you're out of orders now. Um, okay, not quite. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Hostile 
Hostile stationary asset engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Promising officer? I could use a promising officer right about now. Um, for this third fleet here. What do we got? Oh, that's a lot of trades. Good lord. So we got range, several sources of disengagement chance, and yeah, that's great. Welcome aboard. Alert. Spaceport engaged. That's a fight the spaceport might win by itself. That's very sad. Hostile fleet assets engage. I'm sure they're like landing their armies here. No? It's a tomb world though. Complete. Yeah, they uh they did all just die upon the uh the starport. We could, we could do, well, hmm, hmm, hmm. I think this is going to be kind of the, like, well, okay, he's he's also my strongest admiral, but, yeah, it doesn't really, a fleet's a fleet, we can shuffle them around. Um, how many, how many pops is this planet? 17, not so many, okay, so, like, these two are their main ones, I guess. This one was one pop. This one is three pops. Oh, that's a lot of debris there. Let's just rack up some devastation and some damage. Just kind of, kind of make a mess. Tech world. orders yeah now you should come up I should have grabbed that while I was passing through Saturn missed it alert station engage alert hostile fleet assets detected Crystal mines, cruisers. Crystal mines, I'm not super fussed about because we have uh, synthesis. Yeah, of these, I think it's I think it's definitely cruisers. Alert, spaceport engaged. Okay, so they're gonna take that back. That's fine. And that's the Miravandians. Um, so we haven't engaged their fleets yet. Oh well, yeah, nothing, nothing special. No surprises. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Alert. Hostile ah, there we go. Oh, there's a, there's a bit more there than it, than they initially showed. Um, so let's group up here. And then engage them. He's coming... Yeah, okay, that way. Or, or here, that maybe. That's all fine. We're full on jobs. We could turn on some more of these labs we captured. Not that one. Oh, the sun is in my eyes. It moved. Um. Or more accurately, it came out from behind the clouds that had been down all day. I didn't expect to see the sun today. Um... Okay, back. Uh, what 
else do we need? You guys, yeah, unemployment on the big generator world is not something we want to see. Um, we'll be doing more forging as well, and that's, we, we, we could do um, drone storage, that's what it's called, right? Get a little bit of housing and amenities down. Um, we're gonna need it, we should do a uh, crime guide too here, before it gets, I thought there were 30. Are they not 30? Maybe that's with domination or something. Planetary alert. Blocker expunged. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Where? Okay, yeah, they might only have like 5k. Alert. Spaceport engaged. I'll take a pile of site research, that's fine with me. I don't really care about their Construction awareness. Construction complete. So we're at uh, 80% war exhaustion with the um, these guys. We could, we could build another Corvette fleet and go do some damage, I suppose. Because we have the naval cap now. Cruisers, I mean, we're, we have Hyperdrive 2, 2 in progress. We have Ion Thrusters in progress. We could, I mean, cruisers would be not totally immobile now. Um, yeah, actually, you come that way too. Let's just stack everybody up. Radioactive wastelands are expensive to fix. I had no idea. How much damage did we do? Oh, that's not the one we were bombarding. Eh, a little bit. Not much. But more than none. I mean, how much would we even need to... Hmm. If they live a while longer, it'll probably be fine. Hostile fleet have enough on my plate. Engage. Nope, both of you. Two stacked up. Technological okay. acquisition successful. A couple casualties, actually. But Oh, and that was probably from... Yeah, that was from salvage, not from uh, research. So that's good. Hopefully we'll get afterburners that way pretty soon, too. How long are we on afterburners? Yeah, we're pretty close, so... Technological acquisition successful. Um, do I want to open wormholes? Not really. I'd rather have more code breaking, probably. No deformatic I don't really need. I mean, I guess. But some of these... Uh, computing is, is not... I wonder if that's part of why we have, it's taken us so long to draw hyperdrive stuff. Because we've been drawing computing stuff instead. Um... I wonder if that theory bears out with our recent role. Yeah, three computing things. That would make sense as to why we haven't gotten the text we need. That would be okay. I mean, Intel would be nice. It's a tier three, it pushes us along. I don't know how tiers work with um, insight techs. I guess they're probably, it's probably a tier two. Regenerative whole tissue is expensive now. Wow. Huh.
Nope, they're not there anymore. Where'd they go? They run away? Stationary asset engaged. Did I not take this one? <sighs> Construction complete. Hostile stationary asset engaged. I wonder if I get like informed when the galactic community forms. I don't actually know. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Bronze Age, that's great. They won't be a, a threat for a long time. All right, I mean, I guess at this point, you know, we could start bringing armies in and... I mean, this one is already a tomb world. I should have just bombarded it into a tomb world. Um, Five twenty one. Do they like have have army stuff on their pops? Is that what this is from? They have strong, yeah. Does Lithoid give a army bonus? It does. It's a big army bonus too. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, it's good to know, I guess. How, what, what, how much do we have? About sixteen hundred. Yeah. So we could we could do five hundreds. Um. Twenty three. Yeah, doing like a 700 or an, or more will be expensive in army strength. Their capital is only 500. Yeah, come on up. Ship Grabbing the important ones. Dissected. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Oh, this is the nebula. Hostile fleet assets engaged. That's, uh, how far does the nebula go? So this one... Yeah. Cloaking strength, shield nullification. That's a lot of stuff in one system. Sublight speed reduction, evasion. Wow. Let's not fight there. We don't even need to go into this area. I mean, well, who knows what they have back here, right? But we have enough intel that we should see where they have star bases, I think. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Well, let's, let's group up, because they were split up a little bit. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Robot output 10%? Yeah. Um, okay, and then the question is, do we push forward here a little bit? Probably. At the very least, we can, like, bait them from wherever they have fled to. Alert. Hostile fleet assets detected. Transport fleet 21. Okay, it's... Nice of them to show me the name. Alert. Non uh, here we go. Space entity encounter. 3K. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Then they're just kind of sitting here. Yeah, all right. We can... I'm wondering if I do have sensor range 2 now on some of these as the reinforcements come in. So Did 
Just doing a, a crime check across everything else, see what I've forgotten. Ship fragments dissected. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Construction complete. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Okay, they're Hostile going for it. Stationary asset engaged. Alert. Oh, that was a lot of standard space to be encountered. I'm I'm shocked they're taking this many casualties. Um, I don't know if they were I don't because they were 100 percent whole. They weren't like already beaten up or anything. And they're already at 100% war exhaustion. That's shocking. Um, but you know, we haven't we haven't done like real damage to them yet. We haven't done economic damage to them yet. We've, we've taken out their fleets, but we need to capitalize on that. How long till cruisers? It, it seems like it's 36 months away, like always. Um, we're about to crack 1k science though, so that's good. Maybe we do just start building labs, like, all over the place. Well, this one is right on the border, I think. Um, maybe that's, that's a little more exposed, but... We have gas income now. We could actually just repair that one. That's four pops of science right there. What I want you doing? Um, this is 17 pops, 260 armies. Let's go find like some stuff to bombard down with both the stuff that's worth invading with armies, uh, or with, with, worth invading and with yeah. So it was army strength and also pops. Um, I think that one is the choice. Ship fragments dissected. Um, so after that, uh, damage to their fleet, where do we go? Um, do we just get on top of the homeworld? Probably. South of south of these guys. Um, what's your Favarian? Okay, they're they're like next behind the Mirvandians. We could use spy network growth. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Oh, crystal infused plating. That's not what it not as good as it used to be. It used to be like pretty much mandatory because um there were like multiple Alert. disengagement chances anytime you took uh, hull damage, you would tr try to disengage. Mm -hmm having more hull was really good. But I'm um, okay, so they're not friends with any of these guys. 
nor with us. Pirate fleet. Pirate fleet fighting the amoebas, maybe? Indeed, pirates versus amoebas, I think. Afterburners, probably yeah, from salvage. It's torpedoes from salvage. Okay. Good. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Hostile fleet assets engaged. Darn xenophiles, all their pet amoebas everywhere. Maybe we should have taken the, uh... Where did my transport fleet go? Okay, that's a good place for them to be. Hostile stationary asset engaged. How much did we lose? Um, like a hundred. Pretty good. And now this planet's going to have some stability problems. Oh, you <laughs> Ninety-three percent crime is a lot of crime. Um, what? What is? What are, am I, are these like the robots? Yeah, we're so we've we've taken their robots, um, and are using them. But that's that's still more crime than I want to deal with. Uh, it can take a while for like, once the crime events start, even if you then purge all the pops that were causing the crime, the crime events like will continue until crime has been down for a long time. Um, how much energy do we make here? 300 a month from 55 pops. So it's like five energy per pop per month. Hmm. What's their habitability preference? Savannah, I don't know that I have any Savannah worlds besides this one. I don't know that I would know if I did. Desert's pretty close. Oh, and this one has the energy grid, right? So we might get, like, bonus um, energy from them? I don't know. It's worth a shot, though. Resettling to... That's Falmir. What does that do to our crime? 28% is fine. 21% is fine. Um, Stability is down a little bit. Do they make... Uh... Nah, okay. We do get sector governor bonuses, though, but they don't get the bonus from um, the energy grid. Good to know, I guess. Gives us a capital upgrade opportunity. Um, how's this going? We haven't really done a whole lot to other armies yet. We kind of just got there. We could go crack some of these other ones. Or not like crack, crack, but uh, go grab. And then probably also muster more armies. That's about 500, I think. Alert. Spaceport engaged. What are we doing here? Let's Let's see what they got. That's a lot of commercial zones. It's a lot of trade value. No wonder they have all this economy score. Maybe it's all trade value. Um, somehow still down on energy. Three metallurgists. You built alloy foundries for three metallurgists? I don't even know if this is like worth bombing. This is such a weird planet. I guess it's it's a lot of raw resources. Maybe their uh, the rest of their advanced economy will kind of fall apart if we break this one. Multiple planets here. Science. Trade slightly. Oh, what is them? Um, how many pops? 26. What is their habitability? I don't even know. 
like um, they're they're continental by preference. So we're looking for continental worlds where we expect to find the most pups. Thirty-one. Um, looking kind of tech worldy. They got the Archaeo studies. Yeah, very very trade build. Lots of lots of clerks. It's not really news. I uh Yeah, I don't know if we like hold these worlds or not. I mean Our empire size is up again. Um, I'm just thinking about our gas situation. This is still not very much gas, which is disappointing. We'll have to. We'll need uh, the refinery too. Okay, well, okay, so there's, yeah, here's the gas I was looking for. I was one, I knew we had a deposit around here somewhere that I didn't think we had taken yet, and we haven't, so that's good. Um, but at least we've located it. Maybe I do do that one manually. Oh, do I still not have cruisers? It's, it's still 30 months out. <laughs> Just not moving. Um, at this point, we could probably split up. I, I don't think they have a whole lot left here. If they did, probably would have seen it by now. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's let's find some low-pop worlds to turn into tomb worlds. Like this guy, for example. This is a perfect place to turn into a tomb world. Um... This one was the, the other continental. Sorry, the cat is poking my arm. That one we could tomb world real quick. I think, yeah, okay. Okay, so they do. They still have, uh, yeah, you know, 2k left. But at this point, where are they going to go? Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Ship fragments dissected. Auxiliary fire control. That's amoebas. Planetary alert. Okay, yeah, they're, they're, um, that's the Federation fleet. And they're going to come here, I think. Hostile stationary asset engaged. I mean, or we could could uh, take the two fleets and go fight the Federation fleet. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. Um, Mega Forges. Not a very big planet to do Mega Forges. I'm okay on alloys for now. I would, well, I'm great on energy too. Hmm. Right, yeah, the maintenance drones, I need to keep an eye on that. Anytime I pick a planet. Where was the other one? 
that I had just picked up around here was uh, that one. We're still at uh, 1500 army. Um, and we're mustering more here. Or, uh, I think that's where we're gathering them. How's this one coming? That's not, uh, it's still about 700 army strength. Yeah, so they have another couple K. But I don't think it's going to be Hostile fleet assets engage. a lot of landing districts. I don't know that I need all that. Did it not repair? Can I not repair it? Did I not have enough gas or something? I thought I hit the repair button. Um, we're... I think we're around an hour. Maybe a, a little short of an hour. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Are they just, like, landing armies faster than I can kill them? Is that what's happening here? Research complexes. Oh, or the advanced energy grid. This is a tough... Um... Probably research complexes, though. Well... Ship fragments dissected. You're still archaeology. Should finish pretty soon. At least that phase. Planetary pacification protocols. Okay, so they're all initiated. stacked up in this this system. I think we go fight them there. It's fine with me. Spaceport engaged. Hostile fleet oh. assets engaged. Ground invasion units have achieved all objectives. I mean, sure, that's fine. Alert. Spaceport engaged. waiting for hostile fleet assets engage a little bit of casualties these last couple of fights I guess
anything good? Not really. How much army was on their capital? I forget. Not so much. We could be mustering armies here now. If we made a sector. It wouldn't be fast, because we don't have a whole lot of stuff in it, but it's, you know. Okay, so this is the Zeroni home system being created somewhere. Hopefully in a way that doesn't reach my bastions too badly. Uh, where... Okay. That's acceptable. Technological acquisition successful. We're, we're finishing like everything but cruisers. It's very funny. Um, extra envoy would actually be useful for spying. For 15k or yeah, or like half an envoy from a variety of um, insight techs or the the infrastructure. kind of gotten most of what they have to give us. The, uh, I guess we've, we haven't really done that much damage to the Mirabandians, but their their strength has fallen, and I don't know why. Um, or their position has fallen. I guess we're, yeah, it's probably just Hex we're finishing. Um, and the Runif we have knocked well down. Yeah, maybe we wait for uh, one round of battle frames to come out here, and then we make a run at the um, Maravanian capital. We're going to be full of energy here pretty soon. Any blockers need cleared? Well, we have a surfeit of energy. Like, well, I guess we can develop some of the stuff, but we have a lot of uh, energy to spend on um, the simulation site, guys. Do I have crystal mines? I don't remember if I do. I doubt it. Yeah, okay. Ship fragments dissected. Council agenda available. I think we just leave synthetic yield up. Um, I like, you know, half a point of pop assembly on many planets is adds up. And these guys already come with robot assembly plants because they're materialists. 
Yeah, I'd rather have more research than more alloys right now. Did I, I haven't touched this one yet. Oh yeah, and that's just a research bonus. Cool. I don't know, you know, how long we'll actually hold these, but uh, we can at least get, get what we can out of them for a while. Probably a while, I mean, the way this war is going, but... They might be reproducing faster than I'm killing them. Alarming. Organics. Always reproducing. 600 there. They might be, yeah, I think they're trying to sneak around the back here. Construction complete. Why is there awareness System increasing? Complete. I don't know. Um, surveyor guy. We could send him to go survey the Zorni home system. Intel on, on these ones. 67, yeah, so I don't think we would get as much out of. Um... Ah, yes, it's no longer their planet. We can't active reconnaissance there. Technological acquisition successful. Hyperdrive 3. Now we're talking. Okay, it's it's definitely over an hour now. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, what do we do? We declared war here, and everything went better than expected. Um, the, it turned out that, like, the 9k initial fleet... I, I think these guys had about 9k, and these guys had, like, 4k, maybe, plus a 2k Federation fleet. So at this point, we're uh, just just in their base, killing their dudes, um, and I am. We we still. Yeah, we're uh. We're approaching the war exhaustion threshold with the Yalons, um, where we might. Uh... Okay, yeah, and the Klagans are invading the Sathan. Interesting. Um, everybody's invading the Sathans. Wow. So this side is consolidating. This is probably where we're going to want to focus next. Um, I mean, outside, and then like there's this situation down here, where I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of reach to them. I guess this probably goes out to them towards their space, but, um, you know, we're up over 1k tech, finally, and plus 100 empire size, 100% empire size penalty from, uh, so it's, it's more like 500, really, uh, and it's heavily skewed towards physics. Wow, I didn't expect that. I wonder what that is.
Stations don't explain all of it. Stations explain a good part of it. Um, but also jobs. Uh, I don't know if it's that we have... I mean, th this bonus isn't as big as the uh, Titanic Life bonus, so... Um, I wonder if it's, like, from our, our governor guy? No. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, but that, I mean, that checks out, right? That our engineering progress seems slower than it should be, and we're making good time through hyperdrives and encryption and things. Um, so, yeah. Oh, the drone expansion initiative is going to try to take this Rony home system from us. I don't have a good answer to that. Yeah, I guess we could build one more Corvette fleet, use it to go bomb the Allens a little bit, have it over towards the theater in case things get nasty, and then if if they don't, you know, eventually can pivot back up here and, and deal with uh, these guys. Um, I think they did get through here, or fell back? I don't know. Okay, that's a thousand. And they are headed this way. But yeah, at this point, at this war, it's it's mostly a question of how much damage do we want to do? What do we want to keep? Um, how do we want to go about it? Uh, versus, like, are we going to win it or lose it? So, it's a good... Uh, and they, they are starbasing up back here, so we should go clean this up at some point. This is down to about 500. Yeah, I think we, we do invade here next. So we'll finish that one off and then go uh, use this one to clean up their star bases and um, do some bombing maybe. Uh, how many pops here? 35 is a fair bit. Factory World is not the most dangerous designation, but they do have a decent amount of tech here. And then this one is... 9 is not very many. Um, I do wonder... Yes, this is still at 1. Um... Yeah. And then, I don't know if we build cruisers or not. Because cruisers, like, are very strong. Or cruisers win against smaller fleets. Or cruiser carriers win against uh, destroyers and frigates and corvettes, mostly. Um, I mean, frigates could, could be a threat, conceivably. But the AI doesn't mass them in the way that it would need to. Uh, and the question is more around, like, okay, it's almost con time. Where do I want them? It's a long, it's a big empire, and they're not fast like Corvettes are. So, um, what do you want? What's our, uh, if we did all the upgrades, if we've gotten some, some stuff, what would our fleet look like, power-wise? Yeah, okay, so we can get another couple K out of our existing hulls by upgrading. That's good. But yeah, we should, we should build more fleet. We have the energy, and admittedly a lot of that's purge. Um, but when we have the alloys, so. But, uh, yeah, I, I think we just start another 70 hull Corvette fleet here. And then what we do with it, we can see. How are my crystals? Fine. And once this comes out, then we'll, once we have a fleet here, then we can do the um, fleet manager thing. Okay. Thank you for watching. This is going to be like the latest cruisers I've gotten in a very long time. It's kind of concerning, but okay.